in this video tutorial we will learn how to draw a shear force and a bending movement diagram of this frame by using shape through to enter and also to verify those results with the theoretical calculations so first of all open the shape 2000 as I, as I had already opened the shape 2000 so I will come here and click on the file then click on the new model when I click on the new model this window will open first is ask me for the unit in which unit set I used so as if I come through the dry the question it has seen that the force the forces are shown in the keep while the distance are used in a feet so I will use uh, the keep feet option so come here down and select the keep foot the next thing I have to select as and the grid only so I have to click on the grid only when I select on a grid only another window appears it the shape asks me for the number of grid lines so the number of the grid lines and the x direction the y and the z direction as our beam as our frame is in two two dimensional so the, then this is the x direction the horizontal this is the x direction in the shape 2000 and the vertical is the z direction so the number of the grid lines in x direction are two one is this grid line and other is this grid line so the number of grid lines in x directions are two and in the z direction which is the vertical direction so there are two grid lines so one is this horizontal and one is this horizontal so in the, the number of the grid lines in x and z directions are two so I will here type 2 in x direction and in z direction I will also type 2. As you can show that this is a two dimension so then the y direction which is inside the plane it has uh, only one grid line. So I will select as number of grid lines in the y direction as 1. So the next thing we have the grid spacing. So, so what, what is the grid spacing between two x grids? So if we come to see the, this is the two grids. Uh, first grid of the x and a second grid of the x so the distance between two these two grids is a 10 feet so I will type 10 here now if I were to come for the, the z direction so the z direction distance between this grid and this grid it is the vertical distance which is 6 plus 6 is equal, equal to 12 feet so I will type 12 feet in this it doesn't matter which values you put in a z direction because we have only one grid in the y direction. So I will click on OK. So when you click on OK, this a frame will be shown to you. So click here, come here and click on the x z direction. This is our the profile on which we have to draw the frame. So the next action is to come to define and this click on the load pattern we have to define the dead load as zero so come and here and type zero then click on the modify load pattern so you see that the dead load becomes zero you click on ok so the next option we have to draw the, the frame so we have to draw the frame using the frame element draw frame or cable tendon so click on this click on the first point here and then come to next point and then come to downward point as this after we have drawn the frames so we will press escape on our keyboard the next thing we have to join we have to draw, we have to assign is assign the support so is, is the C is the pin, pin support and A is the roller support so we will draw a box around this edge and it will a cross will be X will be shown then come here to assign click on the joint and then on the restraint as this is a pen support so we have to select on the pen and then click apply and then ok the next support this is, is the roller support so draw a window and then leave so it will mark as a cross then come here to assign then joint then restraint and assign this as a roller support so we have already drawn the restraints or the supports to the frame the next thing we have to define is the load applying the load so there are two types of the load the one is the uniform distributed load which is 1.5 keep per foot and another is a 2 keep 
so first of all we have to define 1.5 k per 4 as a uniform load over the beam so come here and click on the beam then go to assign frame loads and distributed load so come here and define as uniform load type here 1.5 k per foot and then press on apply and then ok the next load we have to define is uh, this point load which is horizontal 2 k and x direction but this is uh, this is the positive x direction and this will, and this will be the negative x direction so this force is a negative in x direction so we first of all we will select the beam the, sorry the column and then come to assign frame load and this time we will select the point loader we will choose the direction for is x and then come for a distance uh, so we have to come to the absolute distance uh, and this first distance is this force uh, two cap is six feet from this point uh, from the bottom see this is six feet in the z direction so we will type six and the load as the load is in a negative x x direction as you can see this is the positive this is the positive x direction but at the load is in this direction so it is a negative x direction so we will type minus two and the kip is already there so come here and click ok now you can see a two kip load is horizontal applied but we can see that you can see that the, the distributed load has been disappear so when you right click on the beam and then comes to loader so it shows that there is already a load is applied which is at 1.5 feet which is 1.5 keep at a, at a distance of two this is a uniform distributed loader so next option we have to come on the run analysis and we does not want our model to run so we'll click on this model and run or don't run so next option we have to run now we know now we have to save our file so an analysis has been run this is the deform shape of the beam or the frame so the next option we have to draw the which the joint forces are the the reactions will use so click click and press on the, this little icon and it will press on the joint so now click on the apply and then ok as you can see these are the the joint are the these are the support reactions so, and we can verify this with the, the results with so iron calculated this is the theoretical result which I have already calculated so this is the vertical forces 6.3 kip which is in a vertical direction and this is a horizontal force so, at the C which is 2 kip so 6.3 and 2 kip so this is the horizontal force which is at C point which is 2 and this is the vertical force which is a 6.3 kip and support A this is the and support this is the vertical reaction of 8.7 kip so this is the vertical force which is 8.7 kip so we have verify those reactions at the support so if we come here for the for the movement so we will click on this icon and then come down for the frame or cable tension zone we have to draw a we have to analyze a shear force and the bending shear force so click on this shear force diagram and then click on the show values and then click on apply and then ok this is the shear force diagram of the our frame but one thing is that there is a safe draw the diagram opposite to that of the theoretical calculation if we if we come here and click on this is the shear force and bending movement diagram on the a there is an up point 8.7 k and then on the b the b there is minus 6.30 well but the shape draw it is in an opposite direction so these are the value of 6.3 and 8.7 mm -hmm. then uh, the shear force and uh, the, the bc member is a minus 2 kip in this direction but the shape is we already say that it's draw in opposite direction so it is the 2 kip in the, this direction to draw the bending movement on so to show the bending over here come here and click on this then click on the frame cables and tendons and then we'll click for the bending movement diagram we have to select click on the movement 3 3 then apply 
and then okay so this is the bending movement of 25 this is the bending movement. this is the 25.2 keep feet in this member and this is this is 12 which we, we can also verify through here sorry this is the 25.2 and this ab member and this is the 12 keep per foot in this member so this is the bending movement diagram i hope you will like the video